Yay! I am live. Hello, amazing people. Happy, happy Friday. My name is Rachel O'Brien and welcome to the world. And thank you for watching this live webinar. If you are here, thank you so much. I'm just going to pick up my phone so I can read. So what this webinar is about today is why negative energies, why blocking out negative energies does not work for empaths. So I started to look at that, this empath, what is an empath? If you're watching this and you know people that require this information, please share the video. An empath is someone who is highly aware, highly sensitive of the environment around them. And they actually are aware of people's emotions to the point that they actually feel those emotions themselves. And empaths see the world very different, very aware of others, very aware of others' pain points, and they're very aware of what people um, actually need emotionally. So how do you know you're an empath? Um, do you often walk away from people that are negative, negative emotions, depressed, angry, sick, um, and feel fatigue and also feel explain ages, explain um, pain? And do you focus on what other people need? You can give all the time. So. Today's topic and the other thing might show up for you is that when you watch a violent movie, it's like you feel that yourself. So this empath is actually a massive beyond um, when you get aware of that you're an empath and how you function. Beyond this is the gift of the empath, which can contribute to the creation of your life, your business. Actually, it contribute. It's a massive capacity. Now, today's live, why blocking negative emotions do not work for, for empaths? Let me just check. Um, again, so a lot of empaths would have had the point of view. So for me, I built a, a house in the Irish countryside. And um, hey, uh, Anita, how are you doing? Um, you're coming Sunday evening. Do come Sunday evening. Because if you come, just to mention this, in London on Sunday, in Wimbledon in London, I have a workshop and it's actually addressing this. Now, let me talk to this. Why blocking out negative emotions do not work for an empath? So one of the things that we go through on Sunday, and I know some of you have asked for an online class as well. I will actually do an online class as well. So if you look at this, I grew up with a mother that was very depressed and a very violent father. OK, and I had anger issues. They were they were patterns that I was issued with and how to relate to life. And my mother, I became very depressed. Now, this is an automatic responder of an empath. They become the energy that they're most surrounded with. One of the things Jim Rohn says, if you don't create your life plan, you will fall into someone else's. Now, if I look to block out the energy. So for me, I bought a house in the countryside in Ireland, a beautiful house. And I was an amazing creator. But these old energies kept coming back in. Now, if you block out this, just say here, I'm blocking out the energy of negativity. I can't work with negative people. I am also stopping the awareness of how I function. Now, here's if you get one thing from this Facebook Live today, here's what I would like you your takeaway. OK, let your takeaway be that energy is energy. OK, that depression is depression. If you had no point of view about depression, it just is. If someone is looking to change depression, me, okay, are the people that I work with, they don't want to live a pathetic life. They don't want to live victimhood. One of the things you're going to have to be aware of is that person is choosing that in this 10 seconds. And I know this might be really hard to actually, actually receive today. One of the things is this person has a potency and a power to change anything. And the negative emotion, the depression, um, it's suicide September um, awareness month, uh, the suicidal thought, that is not greater than the energy of consciousness. So one of the things that we will go through in detail on, on Sunday in this workshop in London and Wimbledon is any place where you have locked automatic behaviors into your body of taking away other people's pain, taking away their emotion. For me, I always look to fix people around me and make them happy. So that's not actually allowing the other person to actually be present with what, what is going on in their life and they have the ability to change it. 
So one of the things that we can do is superiority, which means I have to take away your pain. Now, folks, you can't actually take anyone else's pain away. One of the things a psychologist said years ago when I studied psychology and I can't remember his name, pain that is not transformed is transferred, you know. So if we don't heal, like so for me, with my amazing children, if I didn't heal my depression, if I didn't look at what was creating that, if I didn't heal my, I want to say, lack reality, there was never enough when I grew up. If I don't heal all that with me and if I if I don't transform my way of functioning with the world, then I am transmuting that to the next generation. I am passing a stick that says you have to live a life of depression. There is not enough money. There is not enough time. You're not good enough. OK, so this um, this thing of being an empath and blocking out negative emotions, negative feelings and um, negative whatever thoughts it doesn't actually work because what you're actually doing is you're saying that I can't receive that and I'm not greater than that energy. And this is something that will, if you begin to use this line, hey, Georgia, hey to all my friends, if you begin to, to use this line from Access Consciousness, I am power. Now, power is not over. I am unlimited, expansive, generative, exuberant, quick energy there is no diminishment of self and energy and there is no diminishment of another and if you actually receive that negative emotion or that thought or that destructive thought I grew up with a lot of abuse the one thing is if you grow up with abuse it, it teaches you how to abuse yourself they're the patterns that you have to living so if I'm not that thought it's just a point of view interesting point I have I have an interesting point of view I have this point of view if it is just a point of view, how can I be affected by it? It's only energy and there's energy everywhere. I can just choose to be happy and care for that person and be like, this is what this person is choosing right now. Now, if the person would like to choose something greater for me, I transformed how I functioned in the world with access bars and access body processes, which is part of Sunday night. You will learn a phenomenal body process, phenomenal, where you will come in and you will actually release physiological and psychological automatic responders that you took from your culture, that you took from your family, and um, that you took from society. And you will actually begin to know that you can have ease with your body. And the greatest thing, oh my goodness me, <laughs> and, and please put this on the chat if you have received these body processes, to not be impacted by other people's viewpoints, thoughts, beliefs has been the greatest, greatest space of being that I have in my life. And it's available to me in every 10 seconds. So that's how come if you block out a negative energy, you're actually what you're saying is that energy is greater than me. And then that energy controls me. And that's how I lived before access consciousness. I had this house in the countryside. I went to work. I came home. You know, I blocked out negative energies. It's only energy. How, tell me today, how can energy be bad or how can it be good other than what point of view you put on it? So um, if you get, or get something from this video, again, you're an empath, you may feel fatigued and have uh, unexplainable aches and pains in your body, focus on what the needs of others are, and you flinch at cruelty or violence, and you sense energy from people, your friend tells you, I'm great, but her face says something else. And um, these are the, these are the, you know, this is what, how an empath functions. And now, the gift of the empath in, in, in my case and in the people that I work with all over the world and people who facilitate this work is that we have an ability to tap into people's emotions, thoughts, feelings, so we can contribute to their life. And also we can use it in business. We can, if we can pick up on a negative emotion, we can pick up on positive points of views too. We can have everything, we can choose everything. And what this work is all about is giving you a new reality with a different set of choices so that you can actually create the life that works for you. Yay! <laughs> and that's the part um, that makes me so happy. 
So um, one of the things that is the part that makes me so happy is that you don't get lost in depression anymore. I genuinely didn't know what to do before access bars when I got depressed. I, I genuinely did not know what to do when I had flashbacks of sexual abuse. And now it's like all these energies are no longer, you know, in my being, in my body, and I'm so grateful. Now, one of the things that I'm going to finish with today is there's this thing called consciousness, okay? And consciousness is this energy that gifts you every single thing that you're asking for, everything that you're asking for. So what you've got to be willing to do, folks, is let go of the negative stuff. Let go of your insane thoughts, your insane ideas, your insane beliefs. And you've got to be willing to ask consciousness, which is this gift that gives you everything you desire and it's working on your behalf all the time if you ask it. So you've got to be willing to let go of your barriers. You've got to be willing to let go of your defense systems and you've got to be willing to receive a new reality. So before we finish today, I'm gonna to sing probably three lines. It's my first time going live on all of Facebook with this. Something I said today, if this is gonna to add to someone's life and if it's gonna light them up on in the month of suicide um, awareness month. I myself was suicidal. In fact, I tried to drown myself. And while I was drowning in the water, I was like, I'm out of this earth because I couldn't deal with the sensitivity as an empath. When I was drowning, I had been given a question by a friend of mine, which said, Einstein said, the, the question is, is the universe a friendly place? And as I was drowning in the water, it was difficult actually, it was quite peaceful. I heard this question, the question is Rachel, is the universe a friendly place? And in that moment, I got that there was no problem with my body. The problem was the viewpoint that I had taken to being alive and living. And I got out of that water that day. It was 2000 and not too long ago, actually. It was 2008. And I chose to live and I chose to create a life. And I chose to allow the universe show me that this was a friendly world. That's what gets me up in the morning that we can live a life of ease, that we can create our life no matter what shows up. And I suppose this song by Jack Lukeman as an Irish art artist has shown me that my life continues to get better when I show up and when I choose to go beyond it. So take a breath, pock and pod all my nervousness. And uh, this song is about letting go of your defense system. A defense system is a thought, an idea, belief, and emotion that stops you receiving from the universe ease whatever it is okay so how about this today open your borders and let me in i want to be there when your walls come crumbling open your borders just give the orders and hope in your borders and let me in ba ba da ba 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 da ba da 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 just open your borders just give the orders and hope in your borders and let me in. So this is my song for anyone out there who is suffering and pain. Open your borders, drop your defense systems. There is an energy out there that is like a support cushion. You've got to be willing to choose it and you've got to be willing to let go of beliefs that do not allow you to live with ease. If you're in London, and you would like to come to the workshop on Sunday, it's 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. And this is where you drop your defense systems and you allow yourself to receive. So folks, that's it for Rachel O'Brien today. Hall of Life comes to me with ease and joy and glory. Have a beautiful day and you deserve, as Einstein said, the question is, is the universe a friendly place? Okay, thanks for watching. And please share this with your friends if you get that you know empaths in your life and they don't know what's required to actually have peace with being in the world.